Hi there and big welcome at Canta Caporista with Brisa and Bonita. Everybody knows the feeling that in the hora you want to sing with lots of energy and really really loud. This is sometimes not as easy as it might seem and throughout my music studies I came across one phenomenon which is called the singer's fulment that really helps to make the voice way more powerful and really create a carrying sound that can get through all the instruments, the atabaki, the pandero, the clapping of the hands. So let's try out and see what this singer's fulment actually is. I'm first going to demonstrate it briefly I am going to sing a soft sound and then when I increase the volume, you might hear that there's some sharp overtones added actually. It's more like a flurry, sphery sound this is added that actually creates the volume. It's not only my body creating this volume, it's the overtones. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like this. <laughs> Could you kind of hear those sphery overtones? Yes. That's great. So now, how do you find these overtones in your voice? Actually, you go for a slightly sharp, bit bitchy sound. Let's try out a yay. Go, go for it. Yay! Yay! Very nice. <laughs> Could you hear it in your own voice? Yes, a bit, I think. That it's a little sharper, a little more cutting yes. than it usually is. L let's try it out over a period of tones. Way, 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 nice, way, 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 yes, very, very cool. Now we have to admit. Brisa and I just briefly talked about those aspects of singing before, so she wasn't practicing like crazy. Feel free to experiment, to shout, to find some of those sharp sounds in your voice. Now let's take it into a song. Let's try out. Vai você, Dona Maria, como vai você? Vai você, vai você, vai você, vai você. And now you could maybe feel that it's way harder to make the sharp sound if all the text is added yes, later on. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> this is quite normal. Don't be discouraged. It's easier on just plain vowels. And if the text is added, it's getting a little more complicated. So let's try one more time just to find this sharpness. Vai você, vai você. Vai você, vai você. This was much better. What did you do differently? Um, I just tried to um, open up a little bit more. Great. Yes. About the opening up, we will take talk later a little more in detail as well. And now we try. Vai você, vai você. Dona Maria, como vai você? Dona Maria, como vai você? Try to get a little more sharpness into the Donna Maria. Mm -hmm. Donna Maria! Donna Maria! Donna Maria, como vai você? Donna Maria, como vai você? Great. So, how did you feel now? What did you change to create the sharpness? I tried to um, like open and um, just let the voice go out of me instead of pushing it. Yes, this is a very good advice. It's not about pushing. We will talk about the pushing a little more in detail when we talk about singing without strain. But it's really just to find the sharp, really quirky noise in your voice. So if you go, no, 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 just try it. A bit bitchy. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you can go even a little more sharp, like no, no, no. No, no, no. Exactly. Does it feel like you're really shouting? No. It's something in between. Yes, it's not yes, really yes. shouting. It's more to find this very sharp place. Now, looking at this graph, we can see in green, there's the singer singing with the singer's foreman. That has really a peak going out there. In yellow, there's the graph of the orchestra. And the singer singing without the singer's foreman, as we can see it in purple, he would actually be as loud as the orchestra. And the science behind it is, our brain is so intelligent, as soon as it hears the overtones, then it really is going to complete the entire sound. And we have the feeling that we can really hear the entire voice of the classical singer that is 
he's on his own singing against a 40-man orchestra or even more people. So this allows us, knowing about this factor in the Horde, really get through all those instruments. So now keep in mind, how do we practice? You go for the sharp, bitchy sound, you go for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to find a place in your voice where it's getting very cutty, very sharp, without even having the feeling that you're actually shouting, just to bring it out a little. And then, of course, sometimes it's a little easier if you really try to shout someone's name or you think you're in a crowd and someone's really far away and you go, Yay, Brisa, where are you? How, how are you? That you really shout a little and you will find this place in the sharpness. And later on, it's going to be really easier to mix that sound in your singing voice as well. So don't be afraid of the voice cracking. Don't be afraid of failure. Don't be afraid if things don't sound perfect at the very beginning. This is part of the entire game. It's more about exploring and going about it with lots of fun. So for now, we say goodbye and Ashe. Ashe. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.